Welcome, everybody. My name is Jeff St. Laurent, and this is the Tuesday Live Show. And today's topic, we are going to explore the fear of success, not the fear of failure, the fear of success, because I believe that it's not the fear of failure that might be holding you back if you felt held, if you feel held back at any point. It's the fear of failure, and we'll talk about that and explore it a little bit. And my experience with that and with working with other coaches as well. I do record all of my Tuesday live shows. I put them on my university at sellingcoaching.com. I help coaches transition to a full-time business. I have a lot of great resources there. Check out my university. You could start off right on the homepage where you can enter your name and email address. You'll get an instant uh, access to my audio recording, which is launching your coaching business, the first three vital steps. That's also going to put you in my email community. That's going to allow you to get some great information from me on a weekly basis and stay up to date on some of the great things that I'm offering. One of which now, if you're watching this live or if you see this, I have a five-month uh, group mentor coaching program. I have all the information in the um, in in the uh, description to this. If you don't see that, I'm actually going to post this now um, in the copy below. Um, so if you're watching this live or even in the recording you can always check that out and uh, learn more about that. But if you are watching this live, I do have one starting up next week. So if you wanna check that out, uh, click that link, enter your name and email, that's gonna give you access to all what I'm doing and you can learn more and we can connect from there. So with that being said, let's talk about the fear of success and what that actually means. Uh, there's a lot involved in terms of the fear of failure, which is the more common thought process around why I'm not moving forward. So a lot of uh, coaches I speak to, and, and I felt this myself, you know, starting off and, you know, as you start to move forward with an endeavor, especially your coaching business, and most of you who are watching this are gonna be in that beginning stages, cause that's kind of really where I cater to in terms of um, what I'm helping coaches with. And I mean, even, even later on when you're launched your business and you're successful and you move forward with it, right? There's always new endeavors and in places where you must grow to and evolve to, which can also cause some fear. And the fear of failure is a common thought as to why I'm not moving forward with things. And it's the belief around, you know, this isn't gonna work, uh, I'm going to fail, I haven't gotten any results yet. Um, and it's, it's a general lack of belief in yourself and your ability to create results. And while that can be true, what I talk about when it comes to the fear of success is we get a, or the why I say it's more of the fear of success versus the fear of failure, is I say this, <clears throat> where does fear come from? Now obviously this is a, a one-way conversation right now, so I'll, I'll answer it based on what I believe the answers are. You can answer this yourself as you, as you watch this, but where does fear come from typically in, in any place? And what I would say is fear typically comes from the unknown. Something that you, 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 you don't know, that's a mystery, that you're not sure of. And when you don't know something, you begin to interpret what could happen or what will happen based on what you believe, what you've heard, what you see, all the, a fusion of all that. Hopefully you're agreeing with this so far. Um, and that's where we can, our mind can go crazy. And our mind can go crazy in terms of what could, might, or will happen, especially on the undesirable side. And, and that invokes fear because those are things we don't want to happen, right? That's right. So with that being said, we talk about the fear of failure or the fear of success. When it comes to the fear of failure, especially in your business, and you're sitting there like, oh, I, I don't believe I can make this work. And I don't believe I can create any results. There's nothing to fear about that because nothing's happening already. Technically, you are already failing. So what, what is there to be scared of? Like you're, you're already in that state, you know, like, like if, if you're, I'll use a simple example, which isn't real fear based, but right? I'll say it's, you, it, it, you're gonna jump in the pool or the ocean and it's cold. You know it's cold. <laughs> you felt it with your toe or your hand and it's cold. 
And you, and you, it's not like I say it's not a real fear, right? You're feared. You're scared. It's the same thing, just on a different level. I'm using a simple example. You, you fear. You're oh, it's oh, but you, you know what it's going to be like. You know, you know the cold, right? It's, 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 it's nothing unfamiliar to you, right? So, the, the, the failure that you, you are, are already achieving by doing nothing, it's one way of looking at it. It's failure. Like you haven't, you haven't got any results yet. Right? And people are like, oh, well, I'm afraid of starting. Because what if I start and what if I keep doing this? What if I do it for a year and, and then I fail? Okay, I understand that. But it's, it's no different than you are now. And you could argue and say, well, the difference is, is I put in a year's worth of work. I put in time and energy and I'm, I'm still right where I'm at now. Okay, well, you just, this, but there's no difference. There's no difference in terms of your results. You already know what that's like. And, and here's, here's what I know is that if you do a work and you do any amount of work and you do it consistently, you're going to get a result. It's, it's a fact. It, and it may not happen in the time frame or the volume with which you're hoping, wanting, or expecting, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. There, there's just no I, – I, mean, I, do, I do it myself with my clients. Like when, when, when they do the work that we outline, something happens. And, and that's a fact. So if you do it long enough, consistent enough, something more and more is going to happen. And then at some point, something's going to happen that's big enough or, or accumulation of the work is, is, is going to accumulate big enough where it's going to be like, wow, I, this is pretty good. Oftentimes, though, what happens is, is we're so zoomed into that process that, that it feels very slow. But there's not fear. That's not fear of failure because that's, that's known. Fear of failure is known. What I, what I want to talk about here is, is where your apprehension most likely comes from is your fear of success because you haven't achieved that yet. And I'm not saying ever in your life, I'm imagining you've achieved some success. Everyone's achieved some success. And the second you're born, you succeed because <laughs> you made it out. You're breathing. You're successful. It doesn't mean it's a continued success because something can happen. But you're successful. We've all, so we've all achieved a level of success from second one in our lives, right? If I'm really talking about it. But when it comes to our business, um, when we're starting off, we haven't achieved any success yet. And we, ha we create successes along the way. But here's the thought is, well, what if this does work out? What if I make this call and the person answers? Because isn't that what we want? Yes. But then what the heck do I say? Never mind that. What if they answer the phone and I figure out what to say? And what if they say yes? Then what do I do? What do I charge? How do I put that together? What does that look like? And then what will, how do I, how will I present? And, and right. I mean, like how, and what if that, what if it goes well? And then they, they hire me. And then there's a whole bunch of questions and that's unknown. Because in the beginning, we don't know that stuff, right? That's why I'm mentor coaching. That's a big reason why the why I do what I do as a mentor coach is because I understand that I had all those questions and I had all those fears. I had that fear of, of success. It didn't stop me because I, well, I, well, I was fine in those moments. Some people, I'm not saying fear of success will, will stop everybody. I'm just, if you're paralyzed, if you're stuck, if you, if you feel it's fear-based, then I'm, I'm posing this as a consideration as to why you might feel this way. So now we get to that spot where, oh, well, what if this happens? And then, and then, and then it's not only that, well, what do I say? No, what if I send this email and um, what if they respond, right? So now if that takes us, so what if that starts to take off? And what if I start earning some real money, right? So now, especially let's say you're in a job. You have a full-time job right now. And, even, and especially if you hate that job, I want to get out of this job. But let's say you need the money and it, you're doing it for certain reasons. Or even if you love your job, right, there's a reason why you're there now. So now your coaching business is going along. Well, then how's that going to work? So now what if my coaching business really starts to take off, but I'm not like at that spot where it's just a clear cut. You know, I'm earning, let's say you're earning whatever, $80,000 with your, with your day job. And now you're earning whatever, $20,000 a year. $30,000 a year. I'm trying to use some modest numbers, right? With your coaching business, right? Some of you, that would be great, right? But then what? How do, so then, so how do I make that happen? How do I leave my job? How do, what, how do I give up those benefits, right? So success 
breeds a lot of bigger decisions. Success also breeds um, a consistency to it, right? So, so I've, I've created a level of success in my business to date. I've been doing this now since 2004. So what happens now, this, this is my whole thing. It's my whole thing, right? And so what happens if I get tired? Or what happens if I hit a slump? Or I get sick? Or what happens if, I don't know, I, 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 how do I change avenues if I want to pivot? You know, it's like, you know, how do I keep up with the pace that I have? Because I'm not always on that pace. Sometimes I'm more ahead of that pace. I got plenty of energy. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm not. But how do I keep that up? Now, now, okay, so now let's say it's years later. You've left your day job. You've left your, I've had clients I've worked with, you know, they've left their 25, 30 plus year careers. You know, um, so now they've cut that off and now they're doing this. And, and maybe they're not at the level of income they want to be at yet, but they've, they've cut off that past career because it's holding them back to take their twenty, thirty thousand dollar a year results to turn it into, you know, fifty, sixty thousand and then beyond results. Oh, so then what? So then so right, that's that's success. And that's a big thing. And some might not not even thought that far ahead, but that's a part of it, you know. A lot of my my clients when I start working with them and I start setting up on some basic structures, sending out weekly emails, doing a weekly show, you know, and then it's sometimes week after week. You know, they're not doing it, not all of them, right? But some people will do that, right? And so sometimes it's, what I've found is it's, once I start, I, once I, start I know I can't stop, right? Because we, we know we need to be consistent. At least if you're listening to this guy, me, I'm telling you, right, we got a, the consistency over time. So Jeff always tells me, consistency over time. I don't need to tell you that for you to know that, right? It's the same reason why maybe you don't, you don't go to the gym and work out. Well, if I, if I work out today, and then next week we're going on vacation, and then next week, I don't know, I'm going to recover from vacation. And then it's summertime, the kids are home, so I don't know when I'm going to get there. And then school starts, and it's like, well, why, why would I start now, right? It's, it's not the fear of failure. You can say it's a fear of failure, but it's actually the other side of it, right? It, could, it, it very well might look like you already know failure. You've already gone to the gym and not, not followed through with it, right? You're already not working out. You've already, quote, failed according to that. But the reason you're not going is because you know you can't keep it up. Well, why should I go this week when next week I'm, I'm going on vacation? Because success would be, even though you're going on vacation, you figure out how the heck you're gonna do a workout, whether it's in the hotel, on the beach, wherever the frig you're going, finding a gym, and, uh, right? So we rationalize it in our head, but that's the fear of success because you know in order to succeed, you gotta keep going, right? So why would I start my weekly emails when I don't even know what to write? And that means I, if I do it to this week, then I've got to do it next week, right? So I'm trying to parallel it to fitness. It's, it's a, something obviously my background, but it's something that I understand really well for myself and working with, with hundreds of people over the years or thousands of people, you know, if you think about it like that. So we've got to start to think about and understand how that fear of success begins to stop us in our tracks because you can, you can say that all day and say, okay, well, Jeff, yes, I agree with you. It's, it's, and I don't care whether it's not the fear of failure. It's, I'm not trying to prove you wrong, right? It's just more of, it, to me, it's understanding how we feel as adults. It's kind of like kids. Like you ask a, a child, even a teenager, <laughs> even some adults, how do you feel? How was your day? Good, bad, very crappy. It's, it's a very superficial, low-level um, level of description of emotion, right? Good and bad as an emotion is at the top of a very broad category of intricately detailed family of emotions that as we get older and older, sometimes we get overwhelmed emotionally. And to me, what that means is, is that I'm, I'm feeling a mix of emotions. Some I can label, some I can't label that synthesizing a new a undescribed emotion that I've never had before, never felt before, and I don't really know what it means, how to feel, where it's coming from. And that's essentially what happens in our business is we get to a spot where, you know, we, we have this overwhelm or this fear of success and we're not quite, or this feeling of what's holding us back. And what I'm trying to help, help you identify to start off with, because I feel like this is where progress begins, is identifying how we feel so we can, we can break it down a little bit better. And if we know now, 
Um, it's, maybe it's not the fear of failure. Maybe it is more the fear of success. If you're sitting there listening to my thoughts around what the fear of success means and you're thinking, yeah, that's, that's why I'm not starting. Wow, I never thought of it like that. You know, it's, it's because, geez, if I start, if I start today, I, I shouldn't stop. You know, the universe says, it's not Jeff, right? It's a universe. The, the universal laws of success say that if, if success is talking, <laughs> um, you know, success says in order to create me and sustain me, you must continually do something towards that, that space, right? So, because success, like you don't achieve and create success and it's there, <laughs> right? You don't weed a garden and go, success, it's weed free. You can enjoy it for a day or two, but guess what? There's going to be weeds coming in pretty soon. So that success requires maintenance. So it's not just like I've achieved a level and then I'm there. I got to continue to work there. And you know that you're a human being, you know, you've done things in life to this point. So now that we've identified this, we start to break it down a little bit more. And therein lies, and when I say break it down, it's breaking it down to microscopically analyze it, not paralyze paralyzation of analyzation, uh, it's more of microscopically when I'm held back. So if now, a great example is uh, with, with, when you work with me, one of the things I tell my clients is like, listen, the second you get stuck, the second you get stuck and you can't get past it or it's, it's now been 15, 20, 30 minutes and you're sitting there writing an email or wanting to make a call or email somebody to reach out and you're like, oh, I'm stuck in whatever I'm stuck in like you need to email me. You need to, you know, if we're doing a group, get in the group, email me on top of that, work it out. And literally one of my clients emailed me right before this call a little earlier this morning. And, and it was just like, I'm trying to write my email and here's what's happening. And so I sent her a message back with some thoughts on, on where they can go from there. And hopefully, you know, that got them past it, right? But when you get stuck in that spot, where you've got to get to right now is just starting to recognize, is like, well, where, where, what's going on right now? And, and, and what am I feeling? And if you can remember what I talked about here, that fear of success, if you can get down to that spot of saying, oh, well, you know, if I send this email or I do this action, I know I've got to do this. So now I'm afraid because I don't know what's going to come next. Or if I make this call, what if they answer? What if they actually start, you know, um, what if they say, yes, I want to work with you? Well, then I don't have anything prepared after that. I don't have my coaching agreement. I don't have all that stuff. And so what I'm going to give to you now, at least in terms of this, obviously when, how I help people down the road if we're working together is I help get them through that by saying like listen let's do the action and when you get to that spot next spot we have no clue what you're doing that's what you have me for that's what you have me for I can help you with that and actually if if you're not working with me I'm not saying you have to work with me if you want to just go to selling coaching and common and fill out the form at the bottom of the work with me page You know, talk to me, like have that person. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. But the point is, is if you're on your own, what I'm recommending you do is, is get to the next step and figure it out. That it's as simple as that. You get to the next step and you figure it out. So what, so if you're getting that spot and you're like, well, Jeff, it is that fear of success. So if I send this call, make this call or send the email and what if they do get back to me? Great. Well, now they've gotten back to you. Get, get to that spot first. Get to that spot first because guess what? They might not. They might not get back to you. Okay, so what? So send another email. Call another person. Go to another networking meeting. Set up another event. So I set up, I, I'm going to set this event up. But Jeff, what if, what if no one attends? Or what if everyone attends? What if I get 50 people? Okay, great. Let's, when you start seeing people register, be like, holy crap, I actually have people. Great, so get excited about it. You're starting to make some money or if it's a free event, great, you're getting some people. Isn't that what you want? Okay, so what's coming up fear-based wise? Oh, well, well, I don't know what to say. All right, well, now it's time to figure that out because you have to figure it out because you get people signed up, right? So now what happens is, is you're in a better position because now you know the event's gonna go on because you get people signed up. You've got a date of which you're going to have the event. Therefore, you have a deadline, which is what we need in life. With, with, and jobs provide that for us. When you're an entrepreneur, you don't have a deadline. You sit in this office and no one cares what the freak you do or when you do it for because you're not accountable to anybody but yourself. That's hard. That is hard or challenging, whatever word you prefer. But now you've got people. You've got accountability. You've got a date, so which means you have a deadline. And so between now and that date, guess what? Figure out what to say, right? 
And if you're having trouble, guess what? Ask for help, right? That's It's being resourceful. But now you've got things lined up for yourself, right? So now you're like, well, oh, geez, now I've got more people registered. And now I'm, if I'm talking about this event, now I've, I've figured out what I'm going to say. I'm nervous that I'm going to mess it up. All right, well, practice it. You know, rehearse it ahead of time if that's going to make you feel better. What, in other words, what do you need to do in order to, right, so I'm going step by step, all right? So now at some point, the event comes and you got to present. Could you mess up? Could you screw up? Well, of course, if, if that's such a thing, but you deliver it. And you say, well, 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 what do I do at the end? I got 15 people register. What do I do at the end? What if, and I'm talking success wise, right? That, what if no one registers? The failure part is, is okay. Is no one registers. Sure, it sucks, but do it again, right? But the fear of success is what if I got 15 people? Now I figured out what to say. What if I get to the end of that? Like, well, how do I ask for business? How do I follow up with people? Okay, great. Let's figure it out. How do I follow up with people? What do I say, right? And, and if you can't figure that out, guess what? That's where help comes in. Ask me. Go to sellingcoaching.com. Go to my university. Type in following up. And guess what? You're probably going to get, I know, two, three, four, at least off the top of my head, shows that I've done on following up with people. Sit down and, and, and watch a video or two. Maybe that solves it for you. Maybe it's uh, you need a little more detail. So do we need to work together? I don't know or not, right? But I'm just saying, right, there's steps. And I'm trying to give you solutions that don't require you necessarily hiring myself or someone else to help you with that stuff, right? But the point is, is you get to that spot next, right? And they say, so what if I have a conversation? And what if, what if someone wants to get on the phone with me because they want to hire me? Great. What's the next steps? So what if they want to have a comp? What if they actually hire me? How am I going to accept payment? How, what's a coaching agreement look like, right? But worrying about all that, what if this is all going to work out success piece, all that together freaks you out. And then what happens is people start working in the future and they're working on logistical things behind the scenes that aren't gonna make any of that happen. Meaning I'm working on my website, I'm working on my coaching agreement, I'm working on my pricing structure, I'm working on you know um, logistics of an event that I haven't even set scheduled yet or have anyone registered for and I'm working out the content of that. It's all backwards, it's all backwards. And, you, and you're saying I gotta work on all that stuff in order to make the call. And I'm not saying don't think any of it through, I'm not saying you can't or shouldn't do any of that stuff. However, what I've found is, is we're working on that stuff because we're f afraid of succeeding because I need to have all that stuff prepared so I know what to do when I get there. It's not the other way around is I'm, I'm preparing all this stuff so when I fail, I'll end up right where I'm at now, you know, with no results. You know, it, it's the different piece. So hopefully this is helpful for you to start to understand kind of where that fear of success comes from. You know, and if you do require some guidance with this, Consider working with me. Like I said, in, in, in the text below, I, I'm starting a five-month group uh, mentor coaching program next week. Um, or maybe, you know, you want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So either way, click the link for the group program. Or if you're considering working one-on-one, -on -one, go to sellingcoaching.com. Fill out the form at the bottom of the work with me page. Let's create a conversation. And let's end this fear of whatever it is. And let's come up with a plan and have a resource like myself where I can, I can be with you for whenever you need me to walk you through and move you forward.